let's start off with a cheer. Yay! We'll face challenges together. Think big and you will see. You can do amazing things with the kid and me. These trenches can go up and down, turn colors, fly and run. Your mind will grow with all you know and fill your brain with fun. And fill your brain with fun. So come along to our house. Welcome to the Brightly Home. We can't wait to explore with you, so please sign in. Click these letters to spell your name. Click on the stars to color the letters. If you make a mistake, click on this eraser. Click delete if you want to remove a name. Click here to choose a brain bank. Your brain bank is where you collect all the smart stars you earn around our house. Oh, and don't forget to tell us when your birthday is right here. We'd love to celebrate it with you. You can click here to see your smart chart. It keeps track of all the stars you earn. When you're ready to start, click Let's Play. <coughs> If this is your first time visiting us, enter a new name. February, December, November, 3rd, 15, 14th. You can do amazing things at our house. Go ahead and click anywhere. There's lots to discover. Every game is a chance to earn smart stars, the sign of success. Which you can check anytime. None yet. Collect enough smart stars and you can take the Superstar of Smarts Challenge. When you click on Ben or me during a game, we'll try to give you some help. Once you've been to a few places, Think and Go makes it easy to get around. In some activities, you can choose how hard you want it to be by clicking here. And here's the exit door. With one click, you can leave us as you please. Now let's look around and find some fun. Wherever the arrow turns into a star, there's something fun to do. And some smart stars. Smart chart. Your smart chart keeps track of all the smart stars you ever earn. Even smart stars you used up in the Superstar of Smarts Challenge will still show up here. If you ever want to change your brain bank, click here to go back to the sign-in page. Abraham Lincoln here. I was the 16th president of the United States. We'd love to see some of your artwork in our living room. I've got all the tools you'll need for painting the canvas back there. Pick up any tool to find out what it does. I'm your palette. Click on me to choose the color you want to paint. When you're paint tube, now you can make different shapes anywhere on your painting. Pick the shape with the little arrow buttons. Blue. To pick any shape you like. Red. Pink, pink tube. Purple. Green. Blue. Purple. Pick any shape you like. Orange. Brush. You can make the end of black. The mystery balloon. You never know what this will do. What's it going to make this? Keep up the cr- They say a picture is worth a thousand words. It's also worth a smart star. <laughs> Becky and I get a lot of our smarts from reading books. Here in our library. That gives me a great idea. 
There are so many places to discover all over the world. To spin then one way or the other, move your arrow to the edge of the globe and click on the yellow arrow. Can you find the United States of America? I can see it on Ben now. The United States of America. You're a geography giant. One more right and you'll get smart stars. Can you find Canada? It's above the United States of America to the north. Canada. Your knowledge of the world is flying high. And so are your smart stars. <laughs> Can you find Mexico? It's right under the United States. Medium. Hardest. Which continent is to the west of Asia? Europe. Out of this world. One more right and you'll get smart stars. Find the ocean east of Africa. The Indian Ocean. Your knowledge of the world is flying high. So are your smart stars. Which continent has over half the people in the world living on it? Asia. That's right. Where is the second largest ocean? The Atlantic Ocean. Your knowledge of the world is flying high. So are your smart stars. Around the world in no time at all. Let's read a story. Whoops, some of the words fell out. Some nouns and verbs are missing from this story. Help me pick some new ones. Click on the green words that say verb or noun. Then fill the spaces with the right kind of words. We need a verb here. You can choose one from the list under me. Juggle. Verbs are action words, like run or sniff. A noun goes here. Go ahead and pick one from the list under me. Squid. Nouns are the names of people, places, or things, like bed or school. Chicken. Chicken. Comet. Squid. As I read, watch for Becky. She's going to help us with the new words. The title of the story is First Day of School. On Slimy Slug's first day of first grade, he juggled slowly up the steps to school. Jack Rabbit sniffed passed at the speed of squid and knocked Slimy's chicken out of his hands. Sorry, shouted Jack and sniffed around, picking up Slimy's chicken. I'm Jack, he said, and shook Slimy's chicken rapidly up and down. You can be my comet if you want. He held open the squid to their classroom and they both juggled inside. Thanks for helping with that story. I've got a special noun for you now. Smart stars! A character is someone who is character in this one. Now, end of story. Why does a fireman wear red suspenders? Why did the chicken cross the road? Why did the boy throw the clock out the window? Why does an elephant wear red sneakers? What's black and white and red all over? What time is it when an elephant sits on your fence? Why does a fireman wear red suspenders? A newspaper. Huh? Because he wanted to see time fly. Huh? Time to get a new fence. Huh? So it can hide in a strawberry patch. Huh? To get to the other side. Huh? Introducing our Hall of High Drinks, our arena of amusement. What Ben is trying to say is, welcome to our playroom. Exactly! 
It's our garage! Lots of tools for learning out here. All work and no play, that is not the Brightly way. Well, here's the place to play! It looks like a painting project, all ready to go. And when it comes to painting, I like to dive right in. Here's your chance to create something wonderful for our playroom. You see those symbols on the front of each paint can? Well, all you have to do is click on any can, and then with my hair, paint each shape on the wall that has the same matching symbol in it. If you'd rather create your own picture, push the hide button and all the symbols will disappear. Then you can paint any shape, any color. You can print out your picture at any time. Yep. That works. Purple. It's a match. Pink. That's a good look. Nice match! Navy blue! I like it! It's a match! I like it! That works! Nice match! Yep. That's a good look! I like it! I don't think this color goes here! Purple! That's a good look! Nice match! It's a match! Pink! Black! White! Yep! You've succeeded with black colors! Congratulations! Smart stars are coming your way! Use the clear button to remove all the paint from the wall. Now, we'll see how it looks from a distance. That adds just the touch this room needed. Thanks! You'll help us pick up our blocks? That's great! I know just how we can make it fun! I'm a crane, so I can pick up the blocks. Now what we need is a train to carry them neatly away. You call? Right on time. Ready for loading. Fit these different size blocks into my three train cars. Fill all the cars to the same level, so each one is completely full. That's a whole block. That's a one half block. Starting on track C. You could be an engineer. Ready for more action. That's the one third block. Pick a whole block. I can.
can tell by your actions. You sure know your fractions. Call in all the smart stars. Choose a new picture, it will remove all the puzzle pieces you put in place. This piece must go somewhere else. That's a funny picture starting to take shape. it all together, this would be a great picture to print out. You've got a good eye. It's really coming together. You're back in one piece. Let's park ourselves in the garage. idea? Let's have a garage sale! 